Hello, my name is Greg Lane. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Canadian Information Processing Society. And one of our main goals is to help improve the quality and quantity of competent ethical IT talent in Canada. To that end, we work with numerous stakeholders, including industry through the CIO associations, governments of all levels across the country, and academia. And the shared goal there is exactly that, how to increase the talent pool. One of the things that we are trying to work with is diversity and inclusion. It's not just important to get more different types of people involved in IT, it's absolutely essential for the health of the industry. And to that end, I was really excited when I heard that IFIP was having a task force and I was invited to be a part of that. The opportunity to collaborate and share with colleagues around the world, best practices, success stories, maybe even sometimes things that didn't work as well as we'd hoped was an opportunity I couldn't afford to pass up. In that, uh, task force, I, I chose to focus on what we're calling from a team perspective, aspiration. What is aspiration? Aspiration in our mind is a strong desire to achieve something high or great, to be make a difference, I guess, if you want to use a phrase. We feel that that's something that we could use uh, to motivate young people. And any parent out there will tell you that a motivated young person is a force to be reckoned with. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to inspire young people to want to be a digital leader. How can we do that? Our belief is we need to make more resources available for all the people that are involved in this decision-making process on career and career opportunities going forward. And that includes the students, helping them understand what jobs are in IT, what kinds of roles they can see themselves in, what industries are using IT and to what extent and how, all those kinds of things to inform them and educate them around what the opportunities couldn't look like, couldn't and should look like. Uh, teachers, <laughs> teachers who are working with the students could and should be able to access similar resources and maybe even different types of resources that are gonna assist them in helping build a path for their students uh, to move forward on. And parents, what kinds of jobs, what kinds of incomes can they expect? How do they prepare? How do students and their parents help them prepare for moving into that industry and being successful once they're in that industry. Other key role in that whole conversation or journey are career guidance counselors. And these are individuals in universities and colleges and, and high schools that are there to assist and help students make decisions around where they could invest their time, where they should think about moving forward from a work perspective, where they may have aptitudes and what that might mean in terms of being successful in any career, but particularly for us in a digital or IT career. I keep using digital and IT interchangeably, largely because there could be, and we are in that kind of conversation mode, a perception that IT is not necessarily an open and welcoming place for uh, different types of people to participate. The so one suggestion, and we'd love your feedback, is whether or not and how to start rebranding to digital. Digital is perceived to be more inclusive, more open, that's a new word. Everything uh, these days from an industry business perspective is moving to digital. So therefore it's not necessarily a specific industry, but uh, across all industries. The other last maybe thought is, how can we as an industry show how technology, IT is benefiting society and how do we showcase that, celebrate that, so that young people get exposed, see it, and want to participate? And I'll finish there, but I'll have a couple of asks that I'll leave with you as a group. How can you share with us whatever you might be doing, your best practices, uh, role models, champions, anything in your particular organization that you think would contribute to this conversation in a positive way would be welcome. All ideas, in fact, are welcome. Any examples of, of what we think are good things happening that benefit society would be something we would really look forward to receiving. And the last idea is if you have an idea or are willing to support an international contest on how technology or digital is making the world a better place, we would love to have those ideas. Thank you for your time and looking forward to hearing any kind of feedback that you have that is gonna advance this conversation.